wrestling know that Toronto is indeed the hotbed of wrestling in Canada. It is indeed the capital city of wrestling in Canada. You know that we present here three of the major champions of the world of professional wrestling, and those being the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Rick Martel, AWA World Champion, and this man, Dino Bravo, International Heavyweight Champion. Dino, I know you have something to inform the wrestling fans in Toronto about concerning these various champions. Exactly. As you know, people sit there in the living room, they watch television, they see many hours of wrestling, especially in the city of Toronto. And it's hard for them to sort out what's really going on. Well, it's a big war in wrestling right now, and everybody claims to be in the best organization, every champion claims to be the best champion. So we have to go out there and sort things out and make sure that we give the right product to the people of Toronto. So what we did is we all got together, I'm talking about three organizations, I'm talking AWA, American Wrestling Association, with the President Stanley Blackburn, I'm talking the NWA, which President now is uh, uh, is uh, Bob Geigel of Kansas City. I'm talking about international wrestling, which is uh, led by Mr. Frank Valwa, promoter of Montreal. We all got together to fight this war. We got the three championship together. I'm talking about Ricky Martel. I'm talking about NWA champion, which is the number one star in the city of Toronto and throughout many cities in all over the world. All over the world. The nature boy, Ric Flair. And I'm talking about myself, international champion. We're going to go out there in Toronto and give him the best we can. We're going to go out there and bring the Rougeos, tag team champion, the Road Warriors, who are known throughout the world as the number one team in the world. We're going to go in Toronto and compete and try to give the people of Toronto the best because they were raised with the best they were they were given the best in the last 50 years in wrestling so we're going to keep bringing you the best and be, believe me when we hit Toronto we're going to hit you with the top guns we've got and it's going to be a hell of a wrestling match against the fellow Gino Brito that takes a back to no one. You used to refer to him as a man of a thousand and one holes, and that's Leo the Lion Burke. I still refer to him as a man of a thousand and one holes, and uh, you know, I'm glad to see Dino Bravo back on TV. The reason uh, he's having this match on TV, I think uh, deep down inside, you know, he's got a big match coming up with the superstar, and he knows the superstar ranked among the ten top wrestlers in the world. And he said, if I have to wrestle on TV because the fans demanded it, I want some good competition, and Leo Burke is going to get all the competition he needs. There's no question about it. The two of them locking up in the referee's position. Over to the ropes. Burke reverses the position very, very nicely. And Bravo blocks the, the punch that you know is coming. Burke backing away, backing away. Bravo with his arms up. Very, very good move. Both men obviously respect each other. That's you know? right. I mean, respect causes what you just seen there. And uh, let's face it, Leo Burke, I mean, I used to, I still call him, like I said, the man of a thousand and one because he knows probably more holes than anybody else. At his size, he had to lose. That's true, and uh, we saw a nice move by, by Dino from that color elbow hookup going into the standing wrist lock. Right. Uh, Burke showing a lot of savvy, making it to the ropes, forcing uh, referee Dubois to call for the break. Side headlock now taken by Leo the Lion Burke. Bravo against the rope now. Burke off across the ring. Bravo down quickly. Burke over top. Scoop by Bravo and a slam. Burke down very, very heavily. Good wrestling moves by both men. But at this stage, particularly late, the international heavyweight champion, Dino Bravo. You know, it didn't take too much effort on Dino's part. Did you see just threw him like a bag of potatoes across the ring? And it was effective. And uh, look at Leo Burke. There's a man smart enough. He knows he's been hurt. He can kill time outside with two parade before he comes back. And well, goes. that goes back to what we were saying earlier in that that's great time with Tom Zing. That's right about Tom Zing jumping in the ring right away and getting beat up again. Well, well, Burke now that on his knees. there. Leo Burke knows what he's doing in that ring. At, at all times. He knew what he was doing when he came in and got down on his hands and knees and offered to shake the hand of Dino Bravo. Bravo, wary, didn't shake the hand. Burke got up. All he wanted to buy was a few more seconds to recuperate. 
from the punishment he takes. Bravo now with the side headlock, grinding it on. Dino Bravo is a much bigger, stronger wrestler now, isn't he, uh, Gino, than the days, let's say, when you and he were tag team partners oh, going there's, back there's a number no of years. comparison. Then he was starting out. I mean, in professional wrestling, you start hitting your peak at about 30, unless you, barring any injury. And, and Dino, as a matter of fact, right now today, at 35 years of age, He's at his strongest. You can see it when we're working out in the gym on weights, even in the ring, pushing and pulling. I think he's at his strongest right now, and, you know, touch wood well, that uh, he hasn't been injured at all, and that's why he can keep going. Like, you certainly could see the strength there, because with that side headlock, and he continues to grind on Burke. Burke tried to throw him off, but Dino just held on and came right around, and that had to elongate the neck of Leo Burke just a little bit. Uh, Burke has been in that side headlock for quite a while. It's a punishing, punishing maneuver, Gino. But is it the kind of maneuver that can wear your man down sufficiently that you can pin him or so? Yes, if a man like Bravo's got it on, he'll wear you down. It cuts the blood circulation right on. Good shoulder tackle by Bravo, putting Burke on the canvas. Bravo went behind Burke, not sure where he was. Whoa, back drop. Burke down heavily. Clever move. And a side headlock taken again, and a hip toss by Bravo. Count of two, he almost stole a quick pin there. Burke on the canvas, absolutely good. Hey, listen, wrestling match, tremendous wrestling program today, and I'm sure all you fans out there agree. By the way, keep those cards and letters coming to your local TV station because we have been inundated. Well, the fans, uh, everywhere I go, they said international wrestling in the last year or so with all the stars coming in. Let me mention again, Bruiser Brody later on will Six come in. Eight, 340 pounds. The Garvins have caused a sensation. You might hate them, but you know that pound for pound, probably the best record going today uh, as far as the team is concerned, the Garvins. Well, and look, yeah, I, I, we're going with the Rouge. I think the Rouge was with this feet that comment you just made. Well, I, I mean, to me, so far, you know, I can't say the Rouges are the better team. They haven't beaten them yet. Well, this is true. Mind you, the Garvins haven't beaten the Rouges yet either. That's right. So, uh, <laughs> so it's, 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 uh, I'll tell you, it'll be good competition. Absolutely. The, ring. the beneficiaries, the wrestling fans. Right on. Well. Dino Bravo, our international champion, taking a significant amount of punishment right now from the Lion Burke. But wrestling fans, one thing you've got to remember, you want to be a professional wrestler, you've got to be prepared to take punishment. And that is Burke's submission hold, covering Bravo. Is he going to beat him? Count of two, and look at the kick out by Dino Bravo. Burke went about two feet up in the air on that. There was no way Dino was going to get pinned. His head now just slammed into that corner turnbuckle. Leo Burke is in control right now over the international champion, Dino Bravo, whipping Bravo, went for the elbow, Bravo stuck that a good right hand punch, puts Burke on the canvas, Dino's coming back strong, look at the way he's coming after Burke with a vicious right forearm, grabbing Burke, he's going to whip him into the corner, turn buckles, he does, when Burke comes out, nailed with a beautiful judo chop, flat on his back on a canvas, Bravo just loaded for bear right now, Gino. Whipping Burke now across the ring. Punch to the midsection, a solid right hand. You can see Burke is still doubled over from the force of that blow. Knee lift puts Burke on the canvas. Bravo, moving slowly, moving deliberately. He's in behind now, going for the atomic drop, it would appear. Yes, the atomic drop, jamming the tailbone right up through the back. Next win. Suplex. Reverse suplex, Burke I mean, down heavily. Burke cannot get up from there, I don't believe it. He's in great physical condition though, covered by Bravo. Two, three, there it is. Goes, man. Chuck Cup, another victory for the international heavyweight champion, Dino Bravo. What, what, what is going Who is on? this? Who's this guy? If the guy was with darker complexion, I'd say it might be Abdullah Butcher, but it's not. It looks like a Dune Do type guy. Yeah. Same build. Exactly. Exactly. No, I couldn't. Look, look, the referee has been thrown out of the way. No. Whoever it is. It might be. That's the Ledoux favorite maneuver right there. Well, that is the Ledoux call. Somebody's got to do something. Bravo attack from behind by whoever this man is. going on? He's taking off that, that wide leather strap. I don't believe it. I went with him. Oh. This is Ricardo. Somebody's got to do something. Bravo oh. just won his match. Somebody's got to get in there and help me. You know, he the was call? attacked from behind by, by, by this man. Why? With the mask on, who's whipping him with that leather belt. Now, here comes Rook, the young Rocconi in the ring. Well, at least somebody came in to help He's out. He's getting you know? whipped also. To, that's got to be, that's got to be, Joe. Over that top rope. Sonny Warcloud is 
Ten and out. Treatment. Whoever it is is throwing him over the top rope. Bravo's in a big double team now. Then Bravo's got a big match that's coming up. He's being God held. God forbid something happens to him. He's being held by Kurt Bull. Kurt Bull is in the ring. There comes Taga. Let me see you try and whip Taga now, Mr. Matchmatch. Let me see you try and whip King Taga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scoot right out there now. I, I gotta lead. I gotta go. Good, good. Glad somebody's gonna do something. This, this was getting absolutely ridiculously out of hand. Gino Bravo, the international heavyweight champion, just won his match. There you see Gino Brito in the ring now, along with the great King Konga. Bravo has just won his match, we'll remind you wrestling fans, against Leo the Lion Burst. That has got to be Joe LaDuke. He used LaDuke's favorite finishing hole, whipping him with his belt. I can't believe it. What a show of cowardice. Sonny Warthog, Reggie Rapone, King Paga, Gino Brito all in the ring. Wrestling fans will try and get it sorted out and come back to you very shortly with a lot more. Stay with us, fans. We'll be right back.